Hey yo, and welcome back to Undertale. If you watched the last episode, you will most likely know that I accidentally killed Toriel. Because when Toriel got low enough, my plan was to, um... Because I, I figured that it was like some of the monsters I met where if I kicked her low enough, I could spare her or talk to her. Suddenly, I hit for like 300 and Toriel died. That was not my intention. Um, but this is simply because I didn't know how the game worked. And some of you might be saying that it's cheating to do that rollback. And it kind of is, but it's my playthrough. Um, I mean, I want you guys to have a good time and all, but, but you're playing alongside me. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm the only one with the controls here. So if you don't like it, I'm, I'm sorry. That's, that's what it is. But I'm going to do a rollback here. Because uh, I went to Cry. If you don't know Cry, go subscribe to Cry. He's fantastic. Um... I watched Cry play this battle, and it turns out that if you hit uh, Talk or Spare, I didn't watch that much because I don't want to be spoiled, but if you actually keep hitting Spare or Talk, something different will actually happen. Um, so I'm doing a rollback uh, based on the fact that I didn't know that it was a possibility uh, to do that. I, I, I simply thought it was not doable. Um, so. Call it what, what, what you will, but I hope you can still enjoy the series. So we're going to take a different approach to this battle. Yeah, we already heard all this. Alright, let's do it again. Talk to me. You thought about telling Toril that you saw her die. But... That's creepy. Can you show mercy without fighting or running away? I, d I don't know. Toro looks through you. Mercy. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, wow. Surprising. I actually did it. Spare? Dot, dot, dot. Alright. I'm still getting something different. Toro looks through you. Does the game know that I did a rollback? Is that why it said that you saw Toriel die? I think it is. Dot dot dot. Alright, we're getting further into it. Ow. Uh. Oh, yes. Toriel looks through you. Dot dot dot. Question mark. Oh. oh no, oh no. Ow, no. Damn. We're doing better. Toriel takes a deep breath. Spare. What, what are you doing? Oh. Attack or run away. Uh, no, I got hit. Toril is acting aloof. What are you proving this way? Oh, no. Uh, spare. Fight me or leave. Yes, I did it. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Stop it now. Oh no. Stop looking me that way. You don't know how much I care for you, Toriel. It's a reason I'm doing this, okay? Okay, I'm gonna use some spider cider here. Just to make sure I won't die either. <laughs> that would be rather unfortunate. Go away. Holy shit, I cannot believe I didn't get hit right there. Dot, dot, dot. Am I in a loop right now? Please tell me I'm not in a loop right now. Dot, 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 dot. Am I in a loop right now? Maybe I should try talking. Can you show mercy without running away? Question mark? What? Oh. Uh. Wait. Okay, this is working. This, the spells didn't want to hit me. We did it, guys. We did it. I know you want to go home, but... But... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. 
I know we don't have much, okay? But... We... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult on me? Please, please go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No. No. I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I'll not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Hug. Goodbye, Mom. Oh, that was sad. No, okay, that was sad. Okay. Well, we entered the ruins. I want to go look for her. Like, and be like, it's okay, I love you, okay? Because I, I don't know, I really like the house, I really like what she did for me, and I was like, yeah, we can have a good life, but... Adventures, man. Ruins. Oh no, not you again. Clever, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. Spared the life of a single person. <laughs> but don't act so cocky. I know what you did. You murdered her. The game knows I reset it to the save. Oh my god, are you, are you for real? Is this game this cool? And then you went back because you regretted it. Oh my god, the game knows I did that. That is actually so fucking cool. Oh. That is fantastic. Wow. Oh. <laughs> you naive idiot. Do you think you're not the only one with that power? The power to reshape the world? Purely by your own determination? The ability to play God? The ability to save? I thought I was the only one with that power, but... I can't save anymore. Apparently your desire for this world override mine. Well, well. Enjoy that power while you can. I'll be watching. You're such a mean flower. I, 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 I am so baffled. I cannot believe that the game knows that I did that. I, I did a decision I completely regret, because... I, I didn't take a decision. The thing is, I thought this was the way. You would knock Toriel low and then spare her. But I didn't know the other thing was even a possibility. I'm such an idiot for not thinking out, like, thinking outside the box, thinking far enough. Yeah, welcome to Undertale, made by Toby Fox. You did a good job, Toby. You did a really good job. You're kind of scaring me, to be honest, knowing that I did that. There's a camera hidden in the brushes. What? Is that the flower looking at me? Bunch of bambus. Oh, what stick? It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. <laughs> okay. Oh. It broke. It's 
been smashed like it was nothing. Oh shit. Someone's watching me and following me. Oh, did you guys see that? Clench your blankets, guys. And don't drop your tea if a jump scare comes up, alright? Oh, I know the audio is picking up. What's this? Reveal yourself. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Hi. What the hell? Eh, <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick is always funny. Anyways, you're human, right? It's hilarious. I'm, I'm Sans. Sans? Sa? It's French? I'm gonna call him Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on a watch for humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now I'm a brother. Papyrus? Papyrus? Pap what the hell is that in English? Papyrus? I'm gonna call it papyrus. Yeah, papyrus. Let's just call it that. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to anyone. Oh, to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> that is very conveniently shaped. Uh, what's up, bro? You know what? Sup, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't... Re recalibrated? Oh, yeah, recalibrated. Word, your Brussels. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring this lamp. It's real cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I'll be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then? I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly desire. Or deserve. Respect, recognition, I'll finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Um, Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lacy bones. All you do is sit and bondagle? Bondoggle? Boondoggle? What the hell is that word? All you sit is... All you do is sit and blabble-doodle word. I don't know, man. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy, man. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my god. Sands! Come on, man. You're smiling. I am, and I hate it. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to just get some recognition? <laughs> Sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. I'll attend to my puzzles now. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Alright, you can come out now. Yeah, get going. He might come back. And if he does, 
You'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Okay. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. That was very conveniently shaped. How did I hide? Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay. Actually, hey, uh, hey Tabalea, but, you know, could you, uh, do me a favor? I was just thinking, man, my brother's been kind of down lately, so, uh, he's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, it's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Alright. Bye, dude. I'll try and find your brother. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Safe. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Ah, oh, it's like a, it's a bank. Nope. I don't have anything I want to store. Oh no. Snowdrake flutters forth. Um. A joke. You make a bad ice pun. This is supposed to be funny, man. The hell? Oh, okay. Oh. Uh. It's assessing the crowd. Oh, laugh. Oh, he's like a comedian. You laugh at Snow Drake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But you like the crowd, right? It's smiling at its own bad joke. Okay, so I have to wait until it tells a joke and then laugh. What are you laughing at? I don't know, okay? I'm confused. What do you want me to do? Snow Drake realized its own name is a pun and is freaking out. Okay. Uh, what does heckle mean? You boo the Snow Drake. Insults towards humans. Uh, I don't know what an insult towards humans would be. Kim Kardashian? Snowdrake is smiling at so okay, but I'm laughing at you, man. What are you laughing at? What do you want me to do? I'm not sure what you want me to do, friend. It smells like a wet pillow? What? Check. Snowdrake's, uh, this teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Alright. Fights you in cold blood. Ah! Oh my god. So, I have to laugh at him, right? Practicing it. I'm gonna laugh at him again. See? Laughs? That was wrong! <laughs> oh my god. It's like some fucking Snowdrake with serious, like a chicken with serious, uh, Abandonment issues from its dad, like... See, dad, I knew I could make it as a comedian. Look how happy he is. 12 gold, all right. Oh, a fishing rod. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. Uh, sure. Oh, that's uh, attached to the end of is a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. What? Uh, yes. But I want to call it. Uh, set it back out. Uh, is that all there is up here? Okay. Mm -hmm. I really like the music. Oh, there he is! So, as I was saying about, uh, Undyne. <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, human. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, panic. Sense. Oh my god. Is that a human? Uh, uh, actually, I think that's a rat. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Is, is, is that a human? 
Yeah. Oh my god. Sans, I finally did it, man. I did it. Dude. Dude, Undying Will. I'll, I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular. 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 <coughs> Voice. <coughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Okay, this game's... The game knows when I'm cheating. The game knows when I clear my throat. What doesn't this game know? Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then? Then? I'm not... I don't actually know what's next. In any case. Continue, only if you dare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye suck it out for you. Okay. I like those two. What's this? There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very... Oh, okay, so Papyrus built it. Oh, no. Ice cap struts into view. Uh... This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Okay, your head looks so naked. <gasps> uh, oh no. Um, that's a nice hat. I kind of want to steal his hat, but that's a nice hat. Envious? Too bad. Dude, I like your hat. I was out. I was nice to you. Duh, who doesn't know? Wait, I could just ignore him and be like, you know what, your head is pretty lame. Oh shit, they fall down again. Make sure his head is still there. Uh, yoink. You try to steal the ice cap's head, but it's not weakened. Okay. Help, fashion police, help! <laughs> Should I just keep complimenting him? I know you also want a hat for your nose. Compliment. Duh, who doesn't know? Oh no. Oh, oh no. I'm so puzzled, man. Dude, I like your hat. Do I really have to steal it? Envy is too bad. Maybe I do have to steal his stupid hat. Yeah, I'm gonna steal your hat. Boom. Wow, that was hot. Your head looks so naked. Well, it won't in a little while when I steal your head without dying. Aha! What? It melts in your hands? I... I... Ice cap is no more. You inform ice cap that it still looks fine? Huh. Heads of reposes. Ice doesn't mind its identity. And then I can spare him. Alright, well, that makes... I, nothing here didn't make sense. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're gonna take a spider donut. Just to gain some HP. That was, that was awesome. Absolutely no moving. I'm moving. <gasps> Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Pet. Too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I was supposed to not move it. Pet. Hmm, I figured it out. Can't seem to find anything. Pet. Your pet doggo. <laughs> what the hell? What does that even say? No, 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 no. Oh, no, I've never been pet, man. No. Pet. Oh, not moving. And I can spare him. You won. 30 gold? Wow. Jumping pet, man. Jumping, jumping, you're moving pet, me.
I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. I, I need some treats. Yeah, yeah, I want my treats. Look at his eyes. Yeah, yeah, I want, I want myself some treats. Hey. Uh, hello? Is anybody there? Huh? 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 I want my tweets! He's adorable. Someone's been smoking... Smoking dog treats? What the hell? Okay. Hey, what's up, man? You know what? We're gonna continue in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like, this episode blew my mind. So, yeah. I don't know. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh... Yeah, leave a comment, tell me what you thought about this whole episode, because there was a lot of cool stuff in it. Um, and also, let me know if I should voice act in it, like, if I should do voices for the characters. I feel like that would be kind of fun, because then I'll actually take, like, out an hour before making the next episodes to give each character a voice and, 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 and act it out. I don't know if that would be fun for you guys, but yeah, thanks for watching. I really hope you had a good time. Bye, you.